Hi folks, it's Jay, hope you're okay today. Um, I'm just sharing with you about Thunderfoot. He's kicked up a bit of a storm. Uh, he's shown himself up in a really, really bad light. And uh, basically, he's, he's um, been acting like a child on a Freethought blog. And um, all his followers are defending him. And he's, he's called into question the integrity of uh, a famous atheist called uh, uh, Myers. And, um, well, I'm going to just play an atheist talking about the whole issue. Uh, the atheist swears, so forgive the swearing. Uh, if you don't want to hear the swearing, uh, turn off now. Following. We are parting company with two of our bloggers, Thunderfoot and Greg Layden. We wish them both the best, but unfortunately their behaviour towards other members of the community has made it impossible to keep them as part of our network. This is not a matter of a disagreement or difference of opinion, but of behaviour that we cannot condone or support. Now. So basically, Thunderfoot's been kicked off Freethought Blog because the atheist community on Freethought Blog feel that they cannot accept his bad behaviour uh, that he's been uh, conducting. I'm inclined to believe them rather than you. Because during your time on their website, you spent most of it acting like a fucking 15-year-old on 4chan and arguing with the owner, as well as many others. The discussion you initiated on their site did nothing but cause trouble and strife, as you clearly intended it to. They might have, and did, disagree with you, and they told you so in an adult manner, and you replied in all caps with articles with FFS in the title and WTF at the end. You might get away with things like that here on YouTube with your parrots telling you how wonderful you are, but on free thought blogs, where free thought refers to being free to think rather than being free of thought, then for a more mature audience that responds with comments containing a little more substance and thought than OMG, epic win, and a dozen exclamation marks. Well, this atheist uh, also goes on to, to uh, notice that... <coughs> Uh, a Ranra does a better job than uh, Thunderfoot, uh, more mature, uh, that uh, Thunderfoot's uh, Draw Muhammad Day is being used by racists, um, um, his videos are being used by racists, and uh, the atheist notes this and is concerned about this, but then the atheist says this, uh, I'll just uh, play it for you, no, when I refer to parrots, I am not referring to all Dr. Phil subscribers, in the video a while back, Dr. Phil stated that if you want to hear your own words repeat back to you, then you should get a parrot. Unfortunately, despite claiming to be critical thinkers, there is a large number of people in Dr. Phil's audience that will just accept what he says on face value without looking into the facts themselves. These people, more often than not, descend upon anyone who should challenge what Dr. Phil says or have a different point of view or be mentioned unfavorably by Dr. Phil and like a flock of parrots will arrive parroting his words and shifting over everything, shitting over everything. As far as I'm concerned, the fact that you actually understand and what actually understand and happen to agree with what he is saying does not make you a parrot. Parrots don't actually understand what they are saying. They just repeat it because it's what they have been told and they think it sounds good. So are you a parrot of Thunderfoot? Because there seems to be a lot of parrots out there following Thunderfoot. He's got himself into a, a mess and uh, he needs to sort himself out. Um, basically, he's upset the feminist uh, on a, in the atheist uh, YouTube land and blogger land and uh, a lot of them have turned on him and then his own parrot to protecting him but whatever it is it's just a load of rubbish and it just shows you what a complete and utter joke this atheism is uh, it's just going nowhere and it's got nothing to tell us alright take care now and god bless I'll leave a link to the video